if it weren't for them, we would not have the freedom to complain about what they do. I did a movie called Ricochet and I went out on call with a, with a sergeant. We got a call of a man outside his house with a rifle that was distraught. We pulled up and did a U-turn past the house and came up short of the house and he told me to sit in the car, which I was gonna do, I wasn't getting out. He got out. As he got out, another car came screaming up and two young people jumped out screaming. As it turned out, it was their grandfather. This policeman diffused the entire situation by just remaining calm. But it showed me in an instant how he could, how they can lose their life. He had no idea, now he could have, and he didn't overreact. He could have pulled his gun out and sh shot the people that came driving up real fast. He could have shot the, the, the old man that was just distraught and a bit confused. I think he was suffering a little bit from dementia. But it, in an instant, it taught me, and I never forgot it, what uh, our law enforcement uh, people have to deal with moment to moment, second to second. And I have the utmost respect for what they do, for what our soldiers do that, that sacrifice their lives. Uh, uh, I'm directing a movie now about the, a, a soldier that makes the ultimate sacrifice. And I, I just don't care for people that uh, put those kinds of people down. If it weren't for them, we would not have the freedom to complain about what they do. Here's what I can tell you. Cops are not perfect. That's not a news flash, but this might be. They don't have to be perfect. They have to be excellent. And most officers reach excellence every single day and often under very difficult circumstances. Circumstances you can't imagine and wouldn't want to if you could. Perfection is an unattainable goal. Cops are ordinary human beings, like everyone else. Lawyers, surgeons, and baseball players, they make mistakes. But no profession works harder to correct its mistakes. You can mark social progress by the improvements made by police departments over the last 50 years. Today, police are more professional, better educated, and better trained than at any time in their history. You wouldn't know it, though, if you listened to self-serving, self-righteous politicians and activists. In their version of history, the police are the villains of the story, not its heroes. Like everything else this crowd does, they've got it all backwards. The police aren't the problem. The politicians and activists are. The police didn't create the failed urban policies that have locked people into generational poverty. The police aren't responsible for fatherless homes, failing schools and bad lifestyle choices, and they sure as hell aren't responsible for the lack of respect shown to police officers. It is this lack of respect for authority fostered over decades by the progressive left and its fear the police narrative that has led to the needless deaths of so many young black men.